Hello friends, this is Abhishek. Today we're gonna talk about the PhoneGap application uh, creating via Visual Studio 2013 update 4. Okay, uh, today I'm gonna show you how you can uh, add the notification that means the plugin, okay, external plugins to your PhoneGap application by using Visual Studio 2013. So uh, let's start. Uh, before uh, doing this, I hope you have watched my earlier videos in which I have told uh, uh, that uh, how you can configure the Visual Studio for cross-platform applications. Okay. If not, then just watch this and after that uh, come back to this video so you can understand uh, what's going on over here. Okay. So here are creating a new project that is Apache Cordova apps, blank applications, and I'm gonna. Uh, name it notification app okay it will create the notification application for me okay after that here I have to add the external config uh, external plugin so just click on config.xml and after that click on plugins so you will find the notification over here and just add the plugin to your project it will automatically add uh, the plugin to your project so the plugin was successfully added so just save this and uh, you can see over here the plugin in the plugin sections the all the plugins were added successfully right guys okay after that we're gonna use this plugin in our project so just in the open your index.html page and uh, see uh, in index.js file that is in script and this one Okay, you can find the on device ready function. Uh, remember one thing whenever you want to use uh, any Cordova uh, function or plugin, so you have to test it, uh, write down that uh, code in your device ready function because this is the most important function. All the Cordova is successfully loaded or not, this functions will tell you. Okay, so here I'm gonna just add the simple notification or alert you can also see the IntelliSense over here so first parameter is the message so this is the first notification app using Visual Studio 2013 okay and the second is the callback function so I'm giving null I don't have any callback function title for information and uh, buttons for ok and then just run this so I have selected the nexus s ripple on the browser and just run this I'll get the notification uh, uh, when application loaded Just wait for a second. Yeah, it's loaded. And uh, I got the notification. This is the first notification app using Visual Studio 2013. Okay, guys. Uh, here you can think that uh, the UI is not proper. Uh, like just uh, um, uh, compare with the uh, Android applications or compare with the iOS applications okay uh, here you can just find uh, the simple simple functionality testing whether the notification is working or not or uh, if you want to test in uh, the emulator uh, you can do that also so just uh, stop this all this stuff and just select your emulator over here and uh, click on run or press F5 it will take some time to launch the emulator and uh, after that it will install it into the simulator and uh, our alert message comes out 
okay so just wait for that see the uh, emulator is launched and uh, you can see over here the application is installing so just wait a second you can see the apk is generating and here the application is launching so this is a splash screen and uh, the output is this okay this is the first notification app using visual studio 2013 and uh, just press ok okay at once our application is launched uh, temporary you can also test it on your browser that is uh, chrome but uh, the ui is little uh, clumsy type so whatever you want uh, you can use the browser or you can use uh, the emulator okay now uh, here uh, I would like to change something uh, like uh, when I click on OK button then I have to again pop some messages so right here I have just uh, used the function with the callback uh, index okay uh, this parameter uh, will return the value uh, of uh, oh, on which button I have clicked okay so again here navigator sorry navigator dot notification dot alert you clicked on ok button here null confirm and ok what happened Notification message uh, could not select override for call expression. So just a second. Okay guys, uh, now just here write your function name. Suppose I'm writing uh, uh, the on ok click function. Okay, and this function I'm creating just uh, 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 after the device ready function. So just write uh, function this and uh, after that uh, I'm just giving an alert function okay so you can see the difference between the proper notification and the the normal alert function We are running this into the simulator, so just wait. It will running. Yeah, it's launched. So startup, I got, I will got the new, the simple notification, and when I click on OK button, I'll get the simple alert view. Okay, so just. Okay, here is launching application. I got the alert. Sorry. Uh, the proper notification that is the ok and after that I'm calling ok ok suppose home we wanna delete this and uh, launching this again from here so you got the proper message that is notification app setting this is the notification app so first I'll get the proper notification then ok and after that the calling ok same way you can also do the confirm ok 
and after that here you have to specify the the array so just okay and uh, cancel okay and uh, here uh, you got the uh, work extra parameter that is index on which button you have clicked uh, if the index double is equals to 1 then I have to alert otherwise no alert okay just restart this Okay guys, here you can see uh, the proper alert, the OK and cancel button. Suppose I am clicking on an OK button, so I will get the uh, simple uh, alert view. And uh, suppose I am clicking on a cancel, then I will not get any alert view. Because we have write down the code, that is, if uh, the index is 1, then only I want to get an alert. Okay, so let's click on cancel button so we can understand here I am not getting any alert view ok advance you can handle the uh, notification in your visual studio uh, the phone gap applications I hope you guys have uh, understood whatever I have explained over here and uh, one more thing that uh, this application is still uh, still the visual, the visual studio team is uh, uh, updating these facilities so right now uh, I suggest you to uh, do not develop your uh, real-time application in Visual Studio okay uh, let them uh, fix uh, the little bit uh, like uh, bugs or uh, anything else okay so you can do it by side by side with your project so it could be better for you and for your project also okay till then thank you Bye bye and don't forget to subscribe my channel.